One of the most popular and reliable ways to collect feedback quickly from a large number of people is to create an online survey using a tool like Google Forms. But to collect the responses you're looking for, you'll need to know how to make a Google Form public. Otherwise, potential respondents simply won't be able to access it. Hi, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a Google Form and make it public. Let's dive right into it. So to avoid this inconvenience, you need to know how to share your forms and surveys with customers, fans, and anyone willing to give you useful information. Bringing in new perspectives can help you better understand your target demographics, including what they'd like to see from your particular product or service. Luckily, you can gather this valuable intel once you learn how to make a Google Form public. So let's go into my Google Forms account and show you exactly how to do this. Let's say I have a customer feedback survey where I wanna hear back from my valued customers. It's actually pretty simple to make a Google Form public. You're simply going to go over to the settings section. And then from there, where you see responses, you're gonna click on this little carrot and you're gonna press limit to one response. Now this is important so that you don't infinitely receive feedback from the same person over and over again, ruining the data set. And then you're going to press send. You're gonna go here and you have the ability to either send it via email, use a link or embed it on a website. I would recommend doing a link out and checking it for yourself. So I'm gonna paste this out here and you'll see that it figures out my email. So I'm gonna put comments. I had a great experience with this product. Suggestions for improvement. The price was a bit much. Then I put my name and my email. And then once I press submit, it says, thanks for giving us feedback. Now, once again, if I copy this link out, and I'm signed into that same account, you'll see it says you can only fill out the form once, which is very important. We don't want people to skew the data set. So this prevented that from happening. So we can either link it out, embed it, or send out emails, and this should all work. Now, if you wanna track this feedback, you then could go to the responses page and uh, link it to a Google Sheet. So you can press create and uh, actually track all of this information in a Google Sheet very easily. And you can look at the data in this very limited format as well. In certain cases, you actually might want to add some collaborators as well to be able to edit the actual form, which is pretty common in the workplace. So you can go to the top right here and press add collaborators. And then you would just add somebody else to be able to do it. So if I added another email account, I could set the permissions to be editor. And if I only want it for a certain period of time, I could add expiration here as well. So if I press send, I could add them to it. And then also just to point out, you can actually utilize this link functionality. So make it so anyone with the link can edit it, or it could be restricted to just the people who have access, or you can do it for people in your organization as well. Google has a lot of great sharing options. So whichever one of these options you wanna choose will allow you to either share this to anyone, and once they're logged into their Google account, they can edit the form or only allow them to get access to it if they're logged into the specific Google account you gave them access to. Now, there are great alternatives to this process that I just laid out with Google Forms. And that's because Job Form just has more capabilities than Google Forms. So if you're looking for an alternative way to set up customizable access, and if you need more functionality than Google Form provides, you can look into JotForm and other form builders. These platforms often have robust settings to control access to your form. With JotForm, you can set forms to be publicly accessible, available only to those with the link, and even available to everyone at the same email domain address, like a company email. This is possible with JotForm's form builder, which allows you to choose the appropriate settings from the settings menu in the access settings section, whether that's public invite only or company access. So make sure to go to JotForm today and try one of our over 10,000 templates. That's a lot more than Google Forms. Or build your own form and start sharing them with your team and your customers today. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.